Tired of the traditional PowerPoint presentation? Wouldn't you rather see those concepts applied? Hi, I'm Tanya with Team Connect, communicating over necessary networks to effectively complete the task. I'm a little more old school in my teaching approach due to my lack of computer skills, but I'm a student too and have been for some time now, so I invite unique approaches to learning. I was admittedly intimidated at the idea of working with a group, as I feared my lack of computer skills might hinder my ability to communicate effectively with the group and to contribute to the group. What I had not considered was the benefit of working in a group. We would complete a single objective by combining our strengths. What may have been my weakness was my teammate's strength, and what he considered his weakness was my strength. I am amazed still at how much technology exists to take simple ideas and turn them into these short episodes that apply basic management concepts to memorable entertainment. Now let's step it up a notch and take a look at how new age technology and old school approaches intertwine for a modern twist on teaching and learning. Mission Statement Silicon Valley mission statement is to create an app that can compress any file and make it smaller. To integrate this program through many platforms making a positive impact on our planet. To build Pete Piper into a large organization. Team Connect's mission statement is to take life experiences from the episodes and provide real life examples of management. We will use these experiences to create entertaining yet educational videos. Plot. We will watch Richard and his friends struggle with many decisions as they develop and launch their new company. Each member is going to adapt and grow throughout the season. We will see the group develop as they learn from other influences what it takes to run a company. We will learn from this group the qualities and challenges of a manager. Our target market is anyone who's looking to start their own business. Character Profiles Dinesh is an excellent JavaScript web developer. He's the only one in the group with the skill in making him a valuable asset to the company. He's constantly butting heads with Guilfoyle, searching for power. Until there is a clear management structure, their conflicts will continue unless managed appropriately, which is highly unproductive for the company. Dinesh is extremely blunt, generally occurring when we hear something not that is not the truth or even a little from it. Dinesh is very shy when it comes to interacting with women, since he was raised in Pakistan, or conservative Eastern traditions. He frequently references his experience from Pakistan. He became a naturalized citizen in 2010, unlike Guilfoyle, who was an illegal Canadian alien until quite recently. Dinesh's libertarian political views shape most of his choices in the situations he's put into. Ehrlich owns the property or incubator that Pied Piper is run out of. Because of this, Ehrlich owns 10% of the company and sits on the board of the company. He is extremely cocky and douchey, and the rest of the team knows it. In fact, in Season 1, Episode 2, Dinesh states that Ehrlich is pretty much good at being an a-hole. Ehrlich demonstrates that he is better than everyone else around him and tends to try to boss others around in an aggressive manner. Another example from Season 1, Episode 2 is when Ehrlich hires a stripper to come to his house and perform for the others only to force Richard to pick up the tab since he is the CEO. Ehrlich is a regular user of marijuana and is not afraid to let that be known. Time after time throughout the seasons, he will flat out ask people if they smoke weed or if they want to smoke with him. Although Ehrlich is everything I stated before, he also cares deeply about the team around him and offers some great advice at times. Ehrlich proves several times throughout the episodes that he is loyal and willing to go out on a limb for those around him. One of my favorite scenes was when he told Richard that he needs to be more of an a-hole in order to run his business and have more control over what happens. Guilfoyle. He is the brains of the network security of the company as he is mainly in charge of maintaining the integrity of the system against vulnerabilities. For the most part, he loves to play jokes on other characters, but mainly his friend Dinesh. Retrospectively, his managerial traits are strong as far as disturbance handling, page 16, since he assists in detecting and assisting in rectifying data transmission problems such as packet sniffing or DDoS attacks. He isn't extremely talented at coding, which is part of the final product, but rather 
He engages in support activities, page 93, required to keep the system going. As far as personality traits, he is extremely cynical and creates an environment that helps all other members of Pied Piper to question those exterior to the company. In the organizational structure, he is essentially a part of the lowest tier of membership and is mainly control of the operational plans. Jared is the head of business development at Pied Piper. He left an executive position at Hooli to help his team build a new company. Though the entire team doesn't mesh with his personality, he is essential to keeping the team together. He keeps the team organized and on the right path. He lives and breathes strategic management and loves having a plan for everything. The team prefers to go with the flow, which can make it hard for Jerry. He is very maternal towards the other characters, making sure everyone is happy. Jared focuses on rational decision making and loves to be prepared for everything. Under decisional roles, Jared is a great resource allocator. He has high level of conceptual skills based on his focus on rational decision thinking. Based on Jared's concern to make everyone happy, he believes in the utilitarian approach. Monica is a gentle by nature but a move by nurture young woman with an open mind for technology. Her humble but straightforward personality makes her a trustworthy and respected figurehead, leader, and liaison. She possesses significant wisdom beyond her years, particularly in the technology industry. When Monica recognizes the competitive advantages that exist within an algorithm created for the Pied Piper app, she uses not only her interpersonal skills to negotiate with Richard, but also her innovative managerial thinking to encourage her boss to invest in this idea that would deliver superior quality and face minimal substitutions. Monica possesses both the professional demeanor to communicate confidently with bigwigs who respect her ability to lead and direct, and the sincere attitude to build the confidence of the little man on the totem pole who expects nothing but good intentions from her and trusts that she will effectively use her political skills to connect him to other individuals with power. Richard is an incredibly smart tech programmer from Silicon Valley. While developing a music app called Pete Piper, it is discovered that Richard actually invented an algorithm to compress files that has endless possibilities that could be worth billions. Richard's discovery draws interest fast and Richard must quickly learn to run a business and make decisions as a manager. Personality-wise, Richard is shy but honest. While avoiding major confrontation, he will speak up when necessary. Throughout the show, we see Richard grow as a person, and as a manager for Peed Piper, he is forced to navigate the business world for the first time. At first, Richard struggles. He does not have the communication skills needed to pitch Peed Piper to his wealthy investor. We see Richard is forced to come up with a solid business model and make a deal for $200,000 for 5% of the Peed Piper, legitimizing Peed Piper as a major company. We see Richard encounter many issues with his company due to inexperience, but we see Richard overcome every obstacle and grow into his new CEO role very quickly. In this episode, we go over the classical decision-making model to decide if Jared should call about his egg. Jared is watching a live stream of an egg hoping to see it hatch. We will watch Jared identify his dilemma if calling about the egg is like short Niner's cat. We will then watch him go over his alternatives and select to make the call. This decision causes the museum guy to fall from taking the camera down. We will then evaluate the results of Jared's decision-making process. Episode 3, Leadership. After a long and prosperous sequence of events, Pied Piper grows into the company Richard has dreamed it would be. Unfortunately, times have changed. The board of directors that have formed after the formation of Pied Piper as a corporation seek to oust Richard as CEO. His leadership skills, page 206, are tested to the limit as he must overcome his introverted personality in order to regain his position as CEO. Unable to maintain a steady stream of core competence, page 96, the board of directors have finally found a CEO they feel has had effective leadership, page 208, in his previous tech companies. The new CEO, Jack Baker interacts with Richard in a less than fiery exchange, prompting the two to have to work together to make things work. Richard gains experience and personal power, 
page 211, which later converts into legitimate power, page 211, after some time. The board of Pied Piper once again chooses Richard as the CEO. After a long, prosperous sequence of events, Pied Piper grows into a company Richard has dreamed it would be. Unfortunately, times have changed. The board of directors that have formed under the formation of Pied Piper as a corporation seeks to oust Richard as a CEO. His leadership skills are tested to the limit as he must overcome his introverted personality in order to regain his position as CEO. Unable to maintain a steady stream of core competence, the board of directors have finally found a CEO they feel has an effective leadership. In his previous tech companies, the new CEO, Jack Baker, interacts with Richard in less than a fiery exchange, prompting the two to have to work together to make things work. Richard gains experience in personal power, which later converts into legitimate power. After some time, the board of Pete Piper once again chose Richard as the CEO. In effort to promote Pete Piper's app, Monica enlists the team in a tech conference known as the TechCrunch Disrupt. During this conference, we see both elements of strategic control exhibit as well as four basic concepts of control. Monica's objective in placing the team in this competitive atmosphere is to expose them to potential conditions that may exist. The intent of her strategic control is to determine how Pete Piper might fit in its external environment and meet long-range goals. While at this conference, she stays on top of the team in regard to preparedness for the demonstration that in warns of the females that could serve as distractions, Bachman ignores Monica's specific standards for behavior while at the conference and finds himself caught up in an inappropriate affair with the wife of a judge who unexpectedly disrupts the initial demonstration, which could potentially ruin any possibility of opportunities for further funding and recognition for the entire team. Though this could have been the end result, it was not. In the end, the team is granted a second opportunity and takes it by the horns. This is where we see the basic concepts of control implemented. Richard establishes a new standard of accuracy for his app. He measures the performance of his new app based on his new criteria. He compares the actual results to his expectations. Finally, he blows the judges and the competition away with his unexpected results and gains positive recognition. avoid confusion of who is